Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to my programming tutorials. Uh, in this set of tutorials, you're going to learn uh, everything about Visual Basic. Uh, I assume no prior knowledge, so you don't need to know anything about programming at all. Uh, this tutorial will teach you from scratch uh, and uh, hopefully you will learn a lot about programming once you have done all of my lessons. So the first thing we want to download on the internet is the Visual Studio uh, Visual Basic Express uh, which is a tool that we're going to use for programming. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Google and you're going to you're going to type in download visual basic express and click search and once you've clicked search then all of these links will come up and you're going to click the first one that says www.microsoft.com/express so you're going to click on the link and from there you will be uh, taken to the Microsoft page for Visual Studio and you're going to click on download and once you click on download uh, the version that I'm using is actually uh, Visual Studio 2010 so you're going to scroll down to Visual Studio 2010 Express and the reason that I'm using 2010 is because uh, I have uh, Windows 7 which uh, works quite well with 2010 uh, but if you want to try 2012 and let me know how it works out uh, that'll be fine as well but this is what I have Visual Basic 2010 Express so you're gonna click on that and you're going to download in English and you're going to click on uh, install now so since I have already installed it I'm not going to do that again but that is what I have that's what I'm using so once you have downloaded it and installed the program Visual Basic 2010 Express the next thing I want you to do is run the program so as you can see I've got the program pinned in my taskbar and when I click on that it just runs it so we have a start page Visual Basic 2010 Express so what we're gonna click on is on the top left you're gonna click on file new project and we're gonna create a Windows form application and the name we're just gonna call our program training so uh, the reason why you have a name for a program is for example you might have uh, different programs so we just name our program training for now and we'll have different programs later on so you can type whatever you want here it doesn't really matter click OK and you can see that Visual Basic has created a whole new programming project for us uh, just like that and if you click on the run button right now which is just here start debugging so you can either click this button or you can press F5 uh, what you'll see is that you can even run your program and this form right here this window is what your program is so far which is nothing so I'm gonna close that and the first thing I want to talk about is you can even drag the form to make it larger or smaller so if you make it a bit larger run the program you can see that you get a larger form okay the next thing I want to talk about are objects objects are things that you can have on your form and on the left hand side inside the toolbox you can see a list of objects classified under different uh, menus sub menus so we're gonna click on common controls and these are the common objects you're gonna have in uh, most applications 
and the two that we're going to deal with are labels and buttons so if you drag if you click label and then click somewhere on your form you will see that you have just created uh, an instance of the label object on your screen on your uh, application and the reason why I say the word instance is because you can have uh, different instances of the same object so for example I might have two labels so I might click label again and create a couple more labels so these are different instances of the label uh, object okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is change uh, the I'm gonna delete some of the labels I just made you probably don't need that many instances so the first one I'm gonna call it uh, so on the right hand side you can see that you have a properties window and here is where you can change different properties for the objects that you've created and I'm gonna drag this window to make it a bit bigger so you don't have to scroll as much and I'm just gonna call this label uh, the name of it I'm gonna call it title label so you don't need the number one anymore and you'll see why we need a name for it pretty soon okay so the title label and then I'm gonna have down the bottom here text the text of the label which I'm gonna have initially called magic monk training uh, program and if you click enter you will see that you just rename the title in your program now you might say well how come the words are so small so on the right hand side you can now change the font so go into font and change it to uh, probably size 20 uh, a different font if you like make it bold and click OK and you will see that you've just uh, resized your font okay so the next thing we want to do is create a button so click on button on the left and click somewhere on your screen you've made an instance of the object button and this button what we're gonna do is we're gonna call it change color so we're gonna call it color button and here in Australia we spell the word color a bit differently so we're gonna call the color button and you'll notice that the first alphabet I have typed in small case and the second word inside the name I've typed in uppercase with no space in the middle that's just a naming convention and uh, so the text on my button uh, I'm gonna call it change color and here is where you're allowed space and I'm gonna resize my button to make it a bit bigger okay so my window right now doesn't need to be that big so I'm just gonna resize everything and make it a bit smaller make my form a bit smaller okay so when you run the program right now you will see that you have a label, you have a button that doesn't do anything. Okay, so we're going to program this button to make it do something now. So we're going to double click on this button. And as soon as you double click, it brings you to this uh, window with a whole lot of text. And here is where you can learn how to program by typing in codes and these are instructions for the computer uh, to understand what your program wants to do and you can see right here it's got a whole bunch of text here which you probably don't understand right now but basically inside these two lines where it says private sub and end sub 
within this space is where you can type in what you want the program to do when the color button is clicked so that's the event that is happening in your program so the event uh, is someone is going to click on this button and what you want the program to do when someone clicks on it so going back to the form you can see that right now we have three things we have the label we have the button and we have the form and you can see the form background uh, is currently uh, the background color is currently uh, whatever this color is so what we're gonna do is change the color to uh, let's just pick uh, green lime green lime and you can see that I've just changed the color but uh, what I want to do now is make the button change the color okay so what I'm gonna do is double click on my button so inside the code for your button uh, I'm gonna type in the word me M E and when you type the word me what that means is we are referring to our own form so this form right here form one that that is what me is referring to because this is the program the button is trying to make adjustments to our own program so we're gonna type in me dot so within the object me which is the form dot uh, the back back color so that is the back color uh, property that we're going to change so we can just type that back color uh, you can see that halfway through typing it you can just press the equals button and then you can get a list of options uh, these are all the different colors you can uh, change it to so I'm just going to change it to uh, aqua and press enter here and if you press play you have a button there that changes it to aqua and if you press it again it does nothing because that's it's repeating that same instruction it's changing the background color to aqua uh, the whole time so if it's already aqua you can't see any changes okay we're now going to create another button that changes the text in our program so make the window a bit bigger click the button control on the left and click somewhere on the screen and this time our button we're gonna rename it to change text so our button name is uh, text button and down the bottom here the text we want to display on the button is change text okay so if you double click on the button uh, we're now going to type inside the uh, button click subroutine and uh, if you type in our object name for the label was title label actually the T here should be lowercase because that's our naming convention so title label and you can see that Visual Basic recognizes you have this instance already dot uh, text so that is the property within the object that you can change so click that equals hello world uh, that is usually the first thing people type when they make up program now if you click uh, start debugging you'll see that we have two buttons now you can change the color and you can change the text that you're displaying on your uh, form 
Okay, the last thing I need you to do is uh, <clears throat> once you have done everything, you want to save this project. So click on File, Save All. And we're just going to call it training and remember this location where you're saving all your files in. And then click save. And that means you have saved your programming project. Now we're going to constantly come back to this project to make changes to it. So make sure you don't delete this project. Now once you have done everything you can close it. And hopefully it will let you close. Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial. See you next time.